Hello Leo, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Leo, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation, Leo. Let's see. Let's see what do we have for you, Leo. What do we have for Leo, please? What do we have for Leo, please, at this time? Okay. Confront, trust charms okay you don't you you don't uh you don't chase this person leo no no i feel we are connecting here with someone who might have trust issues i feel this is someone who can be quite confrontational I'm getting that at the moment it, it is like um what is the oh gosh what's the ne what's the word stalemate between the two of you with this with this energy nothing it's happening um, maybe what I am getting very strongly is that Leo there was um, maybe you had an argument with this person or there is a conflict or tension between the two of you and it's like i i'm getting that you don't chase this person you are not reaching out to them uh, but at the same time you are quite you are you care about this connection mutual energy we have chance it feels like this person here will come for and for it's like this person will come and they will ask you to be given a chance okay and for so, and I'm getting that you might be willing to actually give this person this chance, essentially, because this is mutual energy, so both of you want this. But something here happened. I, I'm getting that you might be dealing here with someone who is very insecure and they're quite jealous and possessive, very needy and very clingy. And you are not like this. No. You've been there, you've seen it. I feel that you you just have like a more wisdom or more, it's like you've been through a lot. And you have a completely different view regarding many things. But let's see, could you please show me this person's um, feelings and energy towards the end this connection you might be dealing with pisces yeah we have the moon we have the hermit we have the tower this person regrets they have regrets ten of swords eight of wands mm -hmm. they're going to reach out something here it feels like ended between the two of you yeah the, because they are they are invested in this connection look we have the death card at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy for this person this person is going for some sort of transformation it's like they're having reality check mm -hmm. they're going for awakening here leo this is someone who is realizing that whatever they've done and whatever this tower s indicates or symbolize for your situation but that suggests that this person uh, brought that energy of change and it was something sudden unexpected and it was quite difficult to deal with so that could create a quite difficult situation for this connection 
And then after this, we have the Ten of Swords. So there was some sort of form of an ending created by, by this person. That's what I am getting. It's like... For some of you, this is someone here who didn't believe you. You gave them some sort of explanation, but they refused to take it into, into, into account, into consideration, and they just, they, they, they just didn't believe it. And they made a mistake. Because I'm getting someone here who might have confronted you, and, but, but by doing this, it's like they didn't possess enough information or facts because um the moon it's this energy of uncertainty doubt it's like yeah you're dealing here with someone who has trust issues and it's like they were guided here by their emotions this person at some point become it's like there was a moment they, they were they were very emotional and they said something it created a tower moment something ended they however with the ha, ha, excuse me with the hermit I don't feel very well today sorry uh, with the hermit it feels very strongly that this person is going for awakening this hermit is focusing on this moon energy so it's like they are starting to understand that it was wrong what they might have accused you of or it was wrong they were wrong about being suspicious or uh, wrong about even kind of mentioning here something that they didn't really possess enough knowledge about. And that's the thing. I'm getting someone who, for some of you, it's like... This person felt that they need to prove themselves that they are better than your ex. Or your last partner. You know what I mean? Like your ex. yeah and it's just this is energy of self-sabotage the t the tower with the ten of swords this person regrets their actions but they are going through awakening here leo and with the hermit they went within and they are realizing that what they did was wrong and they might have messed things up well this is someone here who will if there is no contact situation and it might be a case they will reach out because eight of wands here it's on their side they will take initiative this is a card of action this is also a card of conversation you know back and forward exchange of messages or texts but this person will, will, will come with, with, with an initiative because they, in order to have a conversation with you. Why? With the Seven of Pentacles, because they are invested. 1977 year might be quite important. Seven of July, something might have happened during, in the past during this, this time. Uh, 13th of July, 8th of July, we have 10th of July. Those dates might be significant for the situation okay but they are changing perspective this is someone here who is going through awakening and um shift it's happening in their energy mm -hmm. show me please leo's energy and their feelings towards this person this connection We have the Two of Cups. We have a Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, the Sun. We have your energy, Leo. Um, Eight of Swords. Oh, wow. 
four of cups ace of wands ten of cups knight of pentacles so you may be dealing with another with another leo okay so we have two of cups with the page of pentacles and eight of pentacles for some of it it might be someone connected with your work related matters um but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the case i'm getting leo that you want to be with this person with the two of cups you have love for them you would like them to send you a message it's like you would like them to kind of come with initiative and kind of tell you that they really willing to work on the situation and they want to repair this connection or whatever happened here in this situation and the thing is here uh, leo what i am getting is that uh, for a lot of you with the eight of swords and the sun you are focusing at the moment uh, on yourself um you i feel that you are practicing self-love self-care but at the same time i feel that with the eight of swords and the four of cups you want this person you are not here interested in anyone else you want things to work out between the two of you with the knight of pentacles it, here's the thing it it this is the slowest moving night and it's like i feel that you are very patient towards this whole situation with regards to this whole situation and towards this person but um this is someone here who needs to take action and we have this ace of wands and a ten of cups that's essentially uh, these cards suggest that this person will take action in order to kind of uh, to heal this connection because at the end of the day i feel that you indeed a lot of you are willing to give this person another chance because you you love them you want to be with them you see them as a source of your happiness you are i feel that you know this person said something with the four of cups i feel that you disagree with this person there is something about respect you want to you want this person to apologize there will be um yes uh, this person will reach out and it might be feeling that it's taking forever for this person to come forward with this knight of pentacles and you might be hearing a lot that yes they are coming but they are not coming and it's not manifesting but they will and this ace of wands with the ten of cups suggests that very very soon for some of you it will be during this week i have a week from today and ten of cups it's you know it's union it's relationship based on love and mutual understanding and ace of wands it's it's that chance that is given here that can be given so it feels that this connection can be given another chance it's like a new energy coming to this connection but this is someone here who needs to kind of it's like they need to own what they said this tower moment and they need to apologize they need to apologize to you you might love this person but it doesn't change the fact that that they handle the situation in not particularly great way but that suggests that you are willing to give this person another chance because you love them and you would love to things to work out between the two of you oh look what's what what it's showing up here you might be dealing with capricorn yeah i feel that you truly truly want this person very 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 much but there is an issue that has to be addressed represented by the devil and it can be anything it depends on your personal situation but there is an issue that has to be resolved and has to be discussed and, and it has to be addressed i feel that's why 
this tower moment happened at the first place because of that issue show me the outcome please we have a queen of wands no you'll get what you want from this situation Leah. three of cups reconciliation knight of pentacles king of cups uh, something that is taking forever will manifest and it will make you feel very very happy wow that's good this is this is a good side message show me the outcome why we have so many queens Leah you might be dealing with Pisces Queen of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles it's pre Empress energy but when we have this Queen of Wands for some of you what I am getting here is that this person might have a keys kind of assumed that you are interested in someone else and they put and that you put them in a third party situation it might not resonate with all of you but someone it might be someone's message that actually that would that's what happened queen of wands leo that's your energy as well Queen of Pentacles as a mutual energy. This is stability. We have High Precious and Nine of Pentacles. I am seeing you changing approach towards this person because they are focusing here on you. Okay. Um, I feel that at the end of the day, you would like you would like to, this connection to be more stable it feels like this person wants this as well they know that you bring a lot to the table that you have so much to offer but i feel with the high priestess and the nine of pentacles it's like when this conversation will take place and even if you decide even if you decide to give this person another chance I feel that you will keep your cards very close to your chest your approach will change will be different I don't feel that you're going to be maybe you used to be very kind of expressive with your emotions but now your approach will be different with the high priestess because it's like this is like um, again keeping cards very close to your chest not showing much like it's not that not showing much but it's like um uh, i feel that you want this person to kind of show you that they care show you that they are really kind of interested in you there is some sort of kind of you know uh, mistake about you and it's like this when this person will approach you they will be very surprised because it's they will feel like you've changed or something here changed about you and with the nine of pentacles i feel that you going to uh, and i'm going to say it but in a good way i feel that you're going to kind of show this person that it's like you're going to be more selfish but in a not sense of being selfish selfish self-absorbed and you know self-focused but it's like I feel that you're going to um, show them that you also have things to do because nine of pentacles it's a very self-sufficient and very independent energy and um, I feel that you're going to kind of um, you will show this person what you truly want but it's like if you want to go out you will go out let's say okay and you don't need to give an any explanation here something like this 
or we just tell them, you know, I'm going here, here and there. And if this person would start asking questions and things like this, it's just saying, I'm going out. I'm going to meet up with my friends. This is what I am getting. It's maybe I word it not a particularly good way with my very, very poor English. But um, I feel that with the High Precious and the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, um, um, are you going to give this person the impression that things changed and things will be now on your terms? And the main thing here is that you want your you want also certain amount of independence and freedom. There is something about you being very independent and very self-sufficient. It's not that you are non-committal because at the end of the day with these cards, I feel that you want commitment with this person, you want to be with them, you have love for them, but things will be different. And this person, excuse me, this person really needs to trust you. And I feel that, again, it's, it's like you will keep more for yourself with this high precious. Please take it how it resonates. But it's like, I feel that you will put yourself first now in the sense of, in a kind of, it's like to maintain the perfect balance. You do love this person. I feel that you will show them that you care about them. But at the same time, you will also show them that you care equally about yourself, that you care a lot about your well-being and what makes you happy. And you want to maintain this perfect balance with regards to this connection. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. We had this King of Cups. It feels that it's a very strong connection you share with this person, Leo. And Queen of Cups uh, suggests that this that this connection, that both of you have strong feelings for each other. And it's like you have so much love to give. And it's like a mutual energy. Both of you would like to share this cup of love with each other. And it's very much possible that that's what's going to happen. But things will be different this time. And this person will have to adapt. If not, then I feel that you just you know you want them you are not interested in anyone else but i feel that you 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 love yourself in the sense of this whole experience changed you and i feel that you've realized that the most important relationship is with your with yourself because it's essentially relationship that you have 24 seven. And as much as you care about this person, I feel that you really want to be with them, not with anyone else. There is, there is someone who is just so important for you. And it's you, your well-being, your, um, you essentially Leah and this is like a relationship um, for a lifetime right we have with with ourselves it's like I, I, I see this incredible kind of um, I don't know that kind of it's like you recognize that this person really has to accept you for who you truly are. And they really need to work on their insecurities if, if they want to be given another chance. Because I feel that you do want to give them a chance. But a certain kind of obstacle or issue here needs to be resolved. And I feel this is on this person's side here. But there is love between the two of you. And things can work out. Leo. So expect communication from them big time. Mm -hmm. Leo. 
I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Leo, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.